from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top series of bold prediction by Health Minister Wells related to the coronavirus fight. Given the fact of the amount of Bahamians who've already been exposed to COVID, uh, if you do the, the math, it says a lot of Bahamians have already been exposed based on the fact that we are around about 8,700 positives. Uh, along with our vaccination program, I do believe by the time we enter the summer that the Bahamas will have entered and we would have reached our desired herd immunity, which means that the country will be able to move in a more positive direction. He made that statement yesterday. Meantime, the vaccination process continues with more persons turning up at centers to take the shot. Officials say they're pleased with the response so far. More than 1,500 persons have already been given their first shot. The Tribune has a complete report on the reaction of some of those persons taking that shot. And the Pan American Health Organization is telling the media that more vaccine could be in the country by the end of the week. Pajo confirming that all member states, including the Bahamas, should expect their COVAX vaccine shortly. Tourism Minister Diagula says he's encouraged by recent spring break travel numbers, and he's saying now that they expect what he calls a substantial uptick in visitor arrivals by the end of the year. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. National Security Minister Dames is telling the media that no one told Police Commissioner Roll to investigate DNA leader Koma Lafi and members of her party. He says that was the commissioner's call and he was well within his rights. The National Security Minister says that politicians must be subjected to the law like everyone else. Meantime, former DNA leader Brandel McCartney is weighing in on the incident, describing it as a travesty. The Supreme Court has denied a legal challenge of the emergency powers orders brought by an Arawaki vendor ruling that a judicial review is not the appropriate route for it. Rape charges filed in court yesterday against 35-year-old Akeem Brooks. It is alleged that he had sex with a 19-year-old woman on February 28th without her consent. Gas prices rapidly heading for $5 per gallon here in the capital. All three dealers getting increases. Shell jumps 29 cents to 4.81. Esso jumps 5 cents to 4.57. Rubus goes up 22 cents on the gallon price, now at 4.74. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, no systems in the area, mostly sunny, highs from the upper 70s to mid 80s, 79 at Freeport, 83 at the Capitol, 84 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds 5 to 10 knots, the seas 1 to 3 feet. The next tide is a low around 11 this morning, next high about 5 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the low to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people paper biggest and best wednesday's world news headlines the u.s grappling with the latest gun violence incident there it left 10 persons dead in boulder colorado authorities are holding and questioning a 21 year old man in connection with the incident the motive remains unclear and lawmakers are not sure what to do about gun laws in our country exit polls revealing no clear winner in the israeli elections the fourth in five years prime minister netanyahu is trying to hold on to power some European countries continue to struggle with the spread of the coronavirus. Germany is about to put major lockdowns in place to try and slow the spread there. Vaccine rollout in Europe has been slow. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, shell 481, SO 457, Rubus $4.74 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get the latest on the school's golf nationals going on. 
Tribune Sports has the scores and the pictures. Eddie Ford remembers former Major League Baseball player Ed Ombristo, who passed away recently. There's a spring training update in the Tribune Sports. And the latest from the NBA, DeAndre Ayton with a monster game against Miami last night. 17 points, 16 rebounds. The Suns are rolling 29-13 and 13 on the season in first place in their division. And get complete results of the first ever Red Line Track Classic in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.